Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert time into a number where you can perform some calculation. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, we have some time slots here. These are maybe times of someone working for the whole week, and we need to try to convert this into hours so we can build them. So you can see that this, per this week, the person worked 53 hours and 42 minutes. Here, 77 hours and 30 minutes. You may think that if I multiply that times this right here, I'd get something, right? Um, and that's really not that correct because you look at it and it goes, 53 hours at $30 an hour should not be $67.13. What we need to do is we need to convert that time, let me delete that, convert that time into a value of hours. So this should be uh, 53 hours and 42, 42 minutes, that's a little bit over half, uh, half of an hour, right, when you think about it. So we need to try to convert that. And the easiest way to do that is to make sure that when we have our values here, they're in kind of the proper format. You can see here, if I click on some of them, you see there's this funny format here. And if we go into the format of this particular cell, and you right click, go, under, go down to format cells, we have to ensure that our formatting is kind of correct. And we're looking at a custom format. In this instance, the hour is inside square brackets indicating that it's going to be over a 24 hour time period. And we have our minutes uh, denoted by MM. All right. Make sure that that's selected or, that's conf or that those cells are configured like that for the format. Click OK. And now all I need to do is multiply that times 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. We have these hash marks because they are they're showing that there's not enough room to show it. So I'm going to double click that to autofill. Now, the reason why that's showing up there is because we still have this in the we have this in the custom number format. If I click on that and put a general, now you notice it's kind of put it correctly. We have 53.7 hours. Double click the fill handle here to copy the formula down and we see we have our hours filled out. Now, a good way to tell is if we have some hours that are plainly half. This 77 uh, 17 hours and 30, right? That's going to be 77.5 hours. Another good indicator is this 15, 23 uh, colon 15, maybe 23 hour, over 23 hours and 15. So we have our 23.25. Now, once that's done, now we can do our billing, right? So I can say 53 hours times the bill right here. And we have a little over $1,600. Double click that to fill that down. And we have it where we have our totals here now. Well, what if we wanted to round up? Let's say, for example, these hours we want to round up or round down to the nearest 15-minute uh, increments. Or, and we sometimes we want to allocate maybe, maybe rounding up or rounding down. There's a couple ways we can do that. Let's add some columns here. Control Shift plus plus plus. I'm going to add some columns. We can do it with a couple functions. One is the M round function, right? So the M round function, let's double click this to expand it. The M round function will round the value. So if I take M round and take this value, and what do I want to round it? I'm going to round it in a format for time. So I'm going to type 0. And if I want to, if I want to round for every 15 increments, I'll just type 15. Close parentheses, press enter. Now you have 53.45, double click to bring that down. And yet now you notice that it's rounded it to the closest 15 minutes, right? So we, because we have 15 minutes there. So it's rounded to close 15 minutes. The closest 15 minutes to 62.51 is 62.45. The closest minutes to 50.02 minutes, 0 0.02 is uh, 50, right? And that's when we can do it. Another way we can do it is if we just want to round up to the next 15 minutes, and that's going to be using a function called the ceiling function. Let's double click that to bring it out here. And I'll see ceiling function is a little bit different. So we have to enter the parameters a little bit differently. So I'll select on ceiling here and select the number here. And the significance, that's going to be the number in, let's say we want to do number in 15 minutes. So that's going to be 15 divided by 60 divided by 24. That's the number that is going to indicate to us in decimals how much 15 minutes is in the span of a day. And if I just 
click, if I just clicked on this portion of it and press F9, you'll notice it came out to be 0, 1, 0, 4. So, so that's the fraction of a day that 15 minutes is. Press escape to not execute that. Let me go back and type in ceiling, select ceiling math, and select my time, and 15 divided by 60 divided by 24. Close parentheses, right? And let me double click this to fill it down. So what this is going to do now, it's going to round up. So you notice now, a good example here is this particular example where 5002, the M round will round to the closest 15, but this one's going to round up to the next highest 15. So that's going to be 5015. So that's if you wanted to do it that way. Another option we can use if we wanted to round down, right? So if we wanted to round down, we're going to use a function called the floor function. And this is going to be very similar to the ceiling function. So I'm just going to take that and copy that. Control C to copy, escape, and then Control V to copy, and just type floor here. Let me just type floor, right? And so it's selected it. Press Enter. Whoops. It's asking me, oh, there's something wrong here. Oh, I have two math text here. So I'll delete that and backspace and press enter. And double click the fill handle to bring it down. So you now you notice with the floor function, it's gonna bring that value down to the 15th, the lowest 15. So for example here, we have 5342. So it's gonna go down to the lowest 15, 15 minute increment, which is gonna be 5330, right? Instead of 1545, it's gonna bring it down to 1530. So depending on which one you use, M round, ceiling, or floor, you can get a desired output. Now, of course, when we change our values here, it's going to be different, right? So if we change it to M round, which is going to round to the closest 45, press enter. You see that it's changed it because it took the custom formatting. So if I took custom and made it general, it points it back there, double click to fill it down, and you'll see that it's taken the M round. So if we didn't want to do M round, we want to do ceiling, we just move that over there, press enter. And unfortunately, it always changes the custom. Let me double click the bill, fill it down, and just change it back to general. And you can see those values have changed. And similar for the floor. If I wanted to move it to the floor and make it E2 instead, press Enter and click it back on general, you can see those values or those rates are going to change, right? So depending on how you want to convert time, if you want to stay with your time and just convert into hours, basically you got to make sure that you've got it in the correct formatting and multiply, multiply it by 24 and times your rate and get your billing. Now, if you wanted to do things like rounding up or rounding down, you have your M round, M round function, you have your ceiling function or your floor function. So those are available for you depending on how you want to round down to the closest 15, round up to the 15 or round down to the 15. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.